Hey, this is Matt with My Florida Home Buyers, and today I'm standing outside of a house that we just purchased right here in Lady Lake, Florida. And it is rough. Let's take a look. All right, so like I said, this house is located in Lady Lake, Florida. It's in Lake County, uh, just northwest of Orlando, kind of between Orlando and Ocala. And uh, like I said, this one's really rough and it doesn't look like it too much from the outside, but when we go inside, you'll really see what I mean. Uh, from the outside, it's just a standard uh, Florida branch house uh, block construction. You can tell it needs a roof. You can see some shingles up there that are missing. Um, and some, you know, some junk outside. Uh, the front yard's a little bit overgrown. Um, I'm actually surprised code enforcement hasn't been here because this is in the city of Lady Lake. Uh, and normally they would be, uh, citing you if your grass got this tall but for some reason they haven't noticed this one so we're lucky in that regard so uh, let me take you around back i'll show you the backyard and then we'll go inside and really see the the nasty stuff okay so i've made my way to the backyard and you can see it is very very overgrown uh, all of these tall things are all these tall weeds are those kind that have the little stickers on them that attach to your clothes uh, so not real fun to walk back here but uh, you can see it's kind of a normal backyard, nothing really going on other than the tall grass and weeds. Uh, there is a window AC here, which gives me a hint that the central AC is probably not, not working. Um, and there's, I think, a broken window over here, or it's, it's come out of the track or, or something like that it needs to be repaired. But other than that, pretty normal backyard. Uh, not much to see other than the tall grass. So let's go inside and I'll show you the disgusting mess that is the inside of the house. Um, I haven't seen one this bad in quite a while. I don't know if it's the worst I've ever seen, but it definitely makes the top 10 list. So let's go check it out. All right, so I'm walking inside the house now. Uh, this is the, I guess, living room area. And you can see it is filled with junk, um, which would be okay by itself, but it's also completely infested with German roaches and they are everywhere. They're in everything. Um, there's not a piece of anything in here that doesn't have German roaches just crawling through it. And I'll, I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so none of this stuff can be donated. Uh, everything is going to the dump uh, in this case. And we're gonna have to be really careful not to bring those roaches back with us because if they fall into your shirt or into your shoe, uh, you'll have a whole colony at your house or in your truck. Um, that's a bedroom there. We can't really go inside to see what's going on just because of how much stuff is in there. Uh, this is the, the hallway over to where the bedrooms are. Uh, this is the bathroom here. Uh, there's a few buckets in there. Hopefully they weren't using those in place of the toilet. And... Overall, just, just kind of nasty. Everything's really dirty, grimy, um, full of bugs. Uh, it's pretty disgusting. The smell is not great. This is, this is another bedroom here. Uh, a lot of writing on the walls and just piled with junk. Um, a lot of stuff that'll have to be thrown out. And then this, I believe, is the master. So this house has three bedrooms, uh, one full bath and one half bath. And the half bath is actually over here. I'm going to see if I can get in there because uh, there's a bunch of stuff in the way. Uh, but this is the master here. And, I mean, I can. it's one of those things where you can hear the bugs crawling through everything. Um, it's just really unbelievable. And then you can see... They obviously smoked in here. You can see how the walls are just filled with the, the nicotine or the tar or whatever it is. Um, yeah, really, really, really nasty. Um, and I'll, I'll show you some of these. I'll try to get some close-ups of, uh, of all the bugs um, just to gross you out. Let me see if I can get to this bathroom. Ugh. I've got to be really careful here because there's bugs everywhere. And they're going to... I'm going to end up taking some home with me if I'm not careful. But... There is the half bath in there off the master. So I'm just going to climb over this stuff to get in there. Um, and this is the window with the window AC from outside. And now that I get in here, I can see that the glass is actually cracked on that. So that's another thing that'll have to be fixed. Um, 
but yeah, just overall very nasty. Um, there's like stuff falling off the ceiling and hitting me. I hope it's not bugs. Um, but yeah, really, really disgusting. Um, you can kind of tell from the carpet. I mean, look at the, that's carpet, believe it or not, down here. So, ugh. All right, so into the kitchen. Really nasty in here because a lot of food was left in here. And uh, the bugs love the food, it turns out. So they are in all of this stuff. So there are even, I mean, you can, oh my God, you can just see them crawling through this laundry hamper. Uh, it's almost like it's moving. And then over here, I mean, there's just like rotted food everywhere. And that is a bucket or a pot that looks like it is just filled with German roaches. And I don't know why they're all inside that pot. Uh, looks like they're dead, but they're all inside of there for some reason. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this is one of those ones where we're gonna have to tear everything out. Um, cabinets, flooring, we may even have to take out the drywall. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but really, really bad. And it takes a lot to get rid of these roaches once they're in here. Uh, that's the window from outside that I mentioned was broken. It's actually sitting, the bottom, you can't see it because it's all blown out, but the bottom of the window is kind of sitting in there crooked. Um, so that'll have to be fixed. And then this is the utility room. Surprisingly, or the laundry room, surprisingly this is about the cleanest room in the entire house just because there was no food in here so there's no, um, there's no bugs or anything. There is a can of Raid on the shelf there which I thought was funny considering how many, how many roaches are actually in this house. And then this is part of the garage that they've closed in. So I imagine the garage door is on the other side of this wall here and we'll probably end up turning this back into an actual garage. Um, just cause they tend to be worth a little bit more with the garage and people like to have a garage to store things in. And I, I think this one's gonna be a rental for us. So um, I think that's what we're gonna do once it's completely renovated. So yeah, just, just really nasty. I'll put some shots in of all of the, the bugs and stuff. Um, it's hard to see on camera. You gotta be here to smell it and and experience it but uh yeah really disgusting so i'll walk outside and i'll explain to you how we ended up finding this house and buying it and we'll get this video wrapped up so i've made my way back outside i'm kind of standing here in the doorway to hopefully block some of the wind so you can hear me okay on the video uh, but so this this house the situation was it was a, a an older couple that lived here uh, they ran into some issues where they couldn't take care of the house anymore. Uh, eventually the daughter came, checked on them, realized things had gotten, you know, really bad to the, to this point here. Uh, and that's when she decided to give us a call. So she called us and said, Hey, you know, my parents are going to be moving out. The house is in horrible, terrible condition. Can you come take a look and, and make us a cash offer on it? So, uh, you know, she submitted everything through the website. We got in touch with her, came out and took a look. Uh, we made her a cash offer. Um, you know, uh, put it under contract and, and now two weeks later, we've closed, uh, the parents have, have the cash uh, that they need to move on with their lives. They don't have to deal with this house anymore, uh, which was a big source of stress and problems for the family. Um, you know, and we've got a new uh, renovation project on our hands. So, and actually this one, I think we're gonna turn into a rental property. So uh, it was a win, 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 everybody's happy. Um, and uh, yeah, now we've got to get to work on this. So if you have a house like this anywhere in Central Florida, uh, this one happens to be in Lady Lake, up in Lake County, Florida, but we buy houses all over Central Florida, even in this condition. Um, and you know, the more disgusting, the better. I always tell people, don't worry about what it looks like. We're, you know, we don't really care about that. We deal with stuff like this all the time. So don't be, you know, self-conscious or anything about how the house looks, because we don't really care. Uh, we're used to it by now. And uh, yeah, so if you have a house like that, give us a call, go on our website, myfloridahomebuyers.com. Uh, just submit all your property information on there. That'll get the ball rolling for you. And we'll come out and take a look and make you a cash offer on it. And uh, you know, if all goes well, we'll close two weeks later, you'll have cash in your hand and you won't have to deal with the, with the house anymore. So uh, again, my name is Matt. I'm with My Florida Homebuyers. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you on the next video.